Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. This will be part 2 of our Let's Play, and in the first episode, we started the game. It was a lot of cutscene, uh, admittedly, but we got through it. So we could talk to Jacob and Miranda more, but I think we've had enough of them for the moment. We'll customise our armour though, just for funsies. So, I think... What I usually like to do, I remember doing this, is you can like, throw your helmet and stuff on. Oh, we have a lot of stuff here. Um, I don't mind this one, the sentry interface. It doesn't actually do anything, it's just like customizing the look. Um, and for the moment, I think we will... Can we run that one? Nah, we won't put too many blue lights on things. Ooh, I don't mind the like, super armor look though. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Um, right, legs. Nah, nah, it's fine. And then for the material, we'll use some sort of, like, matte, matte uh, black thing. And I do like to find a pat. I think I like this one. So I do like, because we are working for Cerberus now. So Cerberus' colors are, like, white, black, and, like, this weird orangey-yellow color. So I do like to kind of sit there and go something like... Just like that, white with... Actually, can we change the pattern colour? Okay, yeah, yeah, we can. So we can do this and we can go like... That. And then for the tint 2, we can just... Oh no, hang on. Tint 2, like that. Tint 1, we leave it black. That looks pretty bad on us. I can get behind that. Look at that. That's, that's a man's man. Alright, anyway, let's, let's get in and actually talk to the elusive man. That weird, like, galloping gate. Yeah, I like the sentry helmet. Sort of gives him that semi-tactical look. And here we are, just like from the intro. Commander Shepard. I like the elusive man. Don't like him in the third one. The think it, think they kind of waste him as a face face. as a thing in the third one. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual. But in this one, love a lot. What you and I know. What do we know? What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. Okay, that's not how you smoke. That you don't just man, stick it into your lip. One very specific man might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief If you're existence. still watching this episode, I hope that you went back you and watched the trailer for Mass Effect 2. Um, you know, you my need friend. to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. Yeah, I hope you went and watched the Mass Effect 2 trailer. Like the um the launch trailer, I believe it is. And the Mass Effect 3 launch trailer, because the music from Two Steps from Hell combined with the way they like frame it and shoot it. Like I I'm a film like I'm a film student. And I, I love what they did there. I think it's an excellent use of their time. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Uh, is there anything here that's useful? Let's talk about the abductions. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition you know what? of harvesting. You Nobody's got me. Paying that's fair. Because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. How else we got here? Cerberus. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? Because in the first one, Cerberus is kind of like just criminals. Preservation of humanity. They're never really... The are targeting us, trying to wipe us out. They're effectively Cerberus portrayed as just like bandits, effectively. The act, like, they, they no do science experiments and stuff, left. but... You know, as a general rule, they're just like bandits. Um, where do we stop? If you're after the Reapers, just point me in the right direction. Miranda was worried you'd be resistant. She's not usually wrong. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Yeah. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? I mean, it's a bit harsh for Jacob. He's all right. Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. 
You'll be just fine with them. I mean, do I have a like fair point? Do I have a choice? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. I mean, that's find a big investment of time and money abducting the colonies. to just do let someone walk away. The Reapers. I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Hangs up on me. Okay, we got a level. We'll spend that in a minute. So we just leave this way? Yeah, so we get bonuses from Mass Effect 1 because of the save game. Uh, rich Mass Effect 1 character, blah blah blah, close report, we're done. Next mission. So it's not like super mission based, like this is very linear at the moment, but obviously when we get our own ship and like get out of what I would call the intro slash prologue, um, you know, it's a, it's a lot more open. Not open world, but we can shepherd. sort of choose what the order to do things in. Do you have any orders? Um, what is my order? Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. Okay. Her first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. Commander, I didn't ask for your back talk. Be All nice right. to find somebody. Anything's better than another yeah, ghost. Yeah, I didn't ask for your back talk. You said, what are the orders? And I gave you your orders. Don't don't smack talk me. Don't give me cheek. Do as you're told. I don't care how unlikely it is to find survivors. Do as you're damn well told. We didn't bring you back to second guess you. Find survivors. Hmm, that doesn't seem likely. Screw you, Miranda. Ooh, that lighting's a bit harsh. So you say provide additional weapons, but what you mean is, like, my weapons. <laughs> you don't get all of the weapons, you just get whatever weapons. So you can make her use a heavy pistol or machine pistol, which is fun. Uh, you can use a shotgun or the heavy pistol. I can just use a heavy pistol. Switch up. Shotgun, bit situational. Heavy pistol, can't go wrong. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. Yeah. Bit peculiar. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Oh, okay, I'm sure it's down there, right. I keep pressing shift to sprint, and that is not sprint. Okay, can't go that way. Uh, do you want to slap incendiary ammo on your gun? Okay, so Miranda is like a... She's a sentinel, I think, so she's got like a warp and overload, and Jacob's just a straight up like adept. I think. Or maybe he's like a vanguard. I guess he's a vanguard, because he's got a shotgun. Oops. Gets cover. Strange. Disrupt ammo. Works well. Oh wow, I just got rinsed. Shoot them before they take out your shield. Not a problem. Um pull, please. Stop him doing anything. I should really start focusing. Wait! I thought you were dead. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Yeah. But I should really start focusing on cryo ammo, because disruptor ammo is fine against robots. Everything else is a little bit less useful. I'm going to upgrade the cloak, because I think this will unlock incinerate. Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Excellent. Uh, can I level up Miranda and stuff? I certainly can. So, yeah, like, everyone's got that kind of ability. So, like, Miranda's got Cerberus Officer, Jacob's got Cerberus Operative. Like, they have a thing that just boosts your stats. Um, whereas you guys, so Miranda, I might actually upgrade you as Warp. Uh, Overload's not a bad ability, but it's not amazing either. And Jacob, I think you can upgrade to Squad Ammo, right? Yeah, so you can give everyone Fire Bullets, which is pretty damn good. But I'm gonna upgrade you as 
this. More biotic powers is usually more good. I think if it's anything like the third one, I don't remember if it is. Oh no, it isn't because there's no such thing as like shields and stuff in this one. Or is there? Is there shields in this one or is it just armor? No wait, I think there is shields, there's no armor in this one. Uh, well, that's there. Uh, that's there. That's there. That's there. This is that. Easy. Oh, again, like that beats the hell out of the first game. Wow. I just knocked him right on his ass, eh? Boop. Just went invisible and smacked him. Take some spare parts. Yeah, in the first one it was like, you know, there was a hacking stat and you had to build that up as you went. Praza, you said you'd let me handle this. Oh my god, it's Tali! Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that Oh my god, I forgot. You're alive? I forgot the Tali Remember was here. when I gave you that get data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes, it did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely. What Commander is she Shep at this point? Is this is she what Tali Nora Zoraya? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Maybe I should get rid of the visor. It's a bit. Find him. Makes him look a bit weird in cutscenes. Uh, why did Vito come Isn't here? Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. So he's probably... Combine that with damage to like, he's probably the one that reprogrammed the bots. Exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also yeah. programmed the mechs to attack any Corian's like moved. tech people. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find. And look at that, Miranda, Good a idea. survivor. Need two oh, teams to get what are the chances? The anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus. No, Praza, you're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the. Oh, I love the Corian's design. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our yeah. ships. Oh yeah, because they're like... That's not sorry, they're not like criminals, they're terrorists. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Yeah, sorry, they're more like terrorists. Is, is how they're portrayed in the first one. Whereas in this one, they're just like a private organization that just does their own thing. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad. Security drones. Security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care. Thanks for the warning. That, that's slow mo. Okay. I need to swap back to the pistol. Actually, let's use a machine pistol for a sec. I want to remember how this goes. Oh yeah, it's like a triple tap, right? Yeah. Okay. I think I just like the heavy pistol better. Heavy pistol's pretty bore. So the cool thing about this is you can generally like follow it along the tracks on the circuit board here, so you can sort of get a rough estimate of where things live. Which is kind of neat. And when, when I get good at it, I'll probably be able to just like ID it. Sure. Let's use overload. Oh no, okay, so shields are a thing in this one. I think it's armor that's not a thing. I think armor's a thing in the, in the third one. Oh god, I'm nearly dead. That was not good. Okay, I'm going back to the heavy pistol. Shepard, Thraza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. 
Well, we should have expected this. Yeah, come on, it's fair. We can still catch them. And when we get there, we're gonna have a talk with Praza, and it's gonna end going bang. Probably not, but still, I don't know how I'm gonna play this yet. Whether I'm gonna play this like super good or super bad or just like. Well, there's no, like, this is the thing in Mass Effect. It's not good or bad, it's Paragon and Renegade. So it's kind of like, are you the good little boy that follows orders, or are you, like, the, the badass, like, makes his own rules? Nice. You know, that kind of thing. Enemy down. There we go. There we go. So there's no, like... It's not good versus bad. It's not like Star Wars, where it's like lights over the dark side. It's more like, yeah, following the rules or or doing what you want. They did want to get to Vito Making your own rules. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Sure. You go there. You go there. Right. To be piece cake. I do have the grenade launcher still, so that's good. Take point. Yep, see, they should have worked together. Now they have to deal with that. Oh, and one of them just got riddled with bullets. That one just got crushed. And then super executed. Like, my god. So much for the Quarian soldiers. Those Quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. They never stood a chance. They all have assault rifles. We have, like, pistols. Oh, no, they do have armor. That's cool. Just keep on shooting. Look. Actually, do I just, like, grenade launch room? Oh, that worked. Uh, I will need... Well, I think this... I think SMGs burn off armor really quick. Oop. That's a bit close. Ah, uh, Jacob, you dead? Okay, Jacob's dead. <laughs> yeah, at close range, these, these kick ass. I forgot how easily your people just die in this one. My god. Like, Jacob just went down like a chump. Uh, I did see... Somewhere in Iridium Crate. Is that what I saw correctly somewhere? Power cells. Which is heavy weapon ammo, which is pretty neat. See, like, this one's probably that one. Yeah. Because it, like, follows the circuit around. So as you... I remember, like, as you do it more and more, it's really easy to look at the circuit board and go, ah, oh, this one connects to that one, because you can see the path, like, all along it. Very, very good idea. Uh, okay, so that's the Iridium Crate there. Refined Iridium. That's what I want. This is valuable. Nice research data. Oh, yeah, that was a thing in this one. Oh, my God. Coming How did I forget that? Mex will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Hey, I'm talking to you. Great. We okay. come all this way and our only witness is a babbling idiot. Swarms coming. Storm coming. Storm of swarms. Mechs will protect. Have to hide. Oh, we Have won't to do hide. It. No escape. Can't hide forever. Swarms will find you. Monsters find you. No hope. No escape. Yeah, they call out here. I'm here to protect you. I won't let the monsters get you. I promise. Have to hide. Have to hide. Yeah, we'll do Next. That. So, like, I don't know if I'm going to go, like, full Paragon, full Renegade, whatever, but we'll do what feels right. I don't think shooting the screens is right. Like, he's traumatized already. Just shutting him down with a, human. With a tool. That seems hide? like a good idea. How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The, the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You yeah. don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. 
looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. Yeah, so, sorry, so background on, like, the Quarians. They're in the suits because, like, they have very, very, very I think it's a bad idea. immune systems. It's like they can't... That's some kind of alien? You know, most people, species from somewhere when we, you know, breathe in the me. air, like, there's microscopic, like, particles and, like, bacteria and stuff all in the they air. Work through intermediaries, like but it's not harmful to us, like... Our immune systems just fight it off all, all the time, like and, like the dust and things like that. Like it's it can make you sick, but generally not. The collectors have advanced Generally, only when it's really heavy. They could have a weapon that Whereas like quarians, they have no once. immune system at all. So to survive, they sit in these airtight everything seekers suits and sports. pump themselves full of no immune like help. immuno boosters. The find they basically can't survive you. outside their and suits. The monsters take you away. Uh, tell me about the swarms. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny Yeah, insects. it'd be like... They go everywhere. If they, they took their... You, then they sting you. If they took you. their masks Sounds off, like they would like... Herbs, get rashes find and stuff like straight away just from the, the air and being around other toxin. people. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. Monsters didn't know I was here. The collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him and they're also sensors. Oh, they, they also have like a special kind of DNA or something that they can't humans. eat normal food. It's like them and the them and the the Garrus, whatever he was, Turians. He, the the Quarian and the Turians, they like have to have special Nobody food. Knows much. Otherwise, so they get like very very sick. Something exist. like that. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Man, I haven't played Mass Effect properly in a long time. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of them, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. So the people monsters, are... The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. Lots of, we like, need to get aliens came in. Elusive man. Grab the corn and call the shuttle everyone. to come pick us up. Interesting. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omni tool data, but please. Just let me take him. You should join us, Tali. Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? Wow, that, I don't think so. This is why people hear. complain about the but voice actor for Male Shepard. Like, he has some weird intonation sometimes. He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omni tool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, do what you damn well told Miranda. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Damn Good right. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. Cheers. We're ready for pickup. Yes, collectors, which is wasn't a thing in the first game. This, this is something that's in the second game. It was never mentioned before because they're like mysterious and no one's ever really seen them. They're like the boogeyman. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. That's but fair. More you can find like he's, the he's not wrong. Far behind the abductions. It's like same with politics and like, like democracy, diplomacy. It's easy to say it's great when it works. When it doesn't work, it's a whole thing. Uh, who are they? Tell me what you know about these collectors. They periodically travel to the terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens. Usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. See Omega-4 relay? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. 
Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can uh -huh. manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Any it's ideas on why they their focus to humans? Yeah. If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number of reasons. Yeah, but like, Obviously, what if they're not? Humanity played a huge role in let's just, let's just assume maybe they're not, that might have been enough and work from there. Attention. What really concerns me. You know, we can always, like, let's just shelve the whole, Once they work the for the Reapers. Let's just go, maybe they kill? don't. What other reasons would they have? Um, yeah, what are you telling something me? back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? Yeah. The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Council and mm. the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. Fair enough. I hate waiting, but I'll need a team. A good one. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Yes, so many crew members in this one compared to the first one, too. To work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. So that's sort of how this game goes. Like, you recruit... Notify you, and your you recruit a whole crew, or you recruit some of the crew, and then you, like, do a mission, and then you recruit some more crew, you do a mission, and then you just keep I'm going. Still a specter. Maybe I can get the council to help you get to the end of the game. It's very cool. If you I like think it. You could convince them by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago. What if I said you some of them are on that list? On, or their allegiances have changed. Yeah, tell me about Kate. Kaden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Interesting. Where's Rex? Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. And Tali? What about Tali? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel. Yeah, well, I mean... Where's Garrus Vakir? Screw you. The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Interesting. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Okay. okay, I get it. They're not available. Yeah. Okay, I see. You'll get who you need. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my Yeah, who's free. new in this one? Because you do see a lot of the faces from the Good. first one. Two things before I'm trying to remember all the new characters first, get introduced here, aside from Miranda and Jacob. He's a brilliant oh my god, he's in this one. Our intelligence <gasps> suggests I love Morton. To counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. What else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. It's Someone true. you can trust. It's Joker! Yay! It's our hey, boy! Man. Just like old times, huh? We saved him. I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. Team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The alliance took away the one thing. So you can see he's like limping yeah, because he like can't put too much weight on either of his legs. Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do, but they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night. Yeah, we got the Normandy SR2. So cool. And I think, by memory, it's like twice as big as the Normandy SR1. Something like that. It's like, compared to the first Normandy that you get in the first game, like this one is massive. I think the Normandy had like two levels. This one's got a whole elevator that goes up inside of it. It's very, very big. Much bigger than it looks here, actually. It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. It's already got a name. The Normandy. <laughs> same name as the first one, hence why it looks basically the same, but bigger. This series is so cool. This game is so cool. Look at that for a backdrop. They really knew what they were doing. Like the the cinematographers. I don't know if there's cinematographers in in a game. 
Because obviously in a movie, like, they are cinematographers. Collectors confirmed the source of attacks. Quarrying survivor Vitor returned with Tali's aura to the migrant fleet. We'll examine his Omnitool data for anything useful. And we got some other stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Close report. Done. I forgot you get one of those after, like, every mission. That's a whole thing, that is. Um, yeah, like, is it a cinematographer for, like, games? I would picture it's, like, the same role. You know, someone that, like, composites the shots and sort of sits there and goes, I want a screen that looks like this. Like, I want a shot that looks like this. I want the Normandy in the front. I want the big thing in the back. Like a director, basically. But it's not. Like, director and cinematographer are actually quite different. Like a, um, DOP. Like a director of photography. Something like that. Maybe it's all just the, like, creative director in games. Or the art director or whatever. Welcome hmm. aboard the new Normandy, Commander. What a weird smile. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Yep, good point. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical <gasps> place to Edie. start. Oh my god. I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew yep. like to refer to me as Edie. Um, sure going like this. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. Yeah, so AI is not a thing. Helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Yeah, so like in the Mass Effect universe, AI is not a thing. You have VI, which are called virtual intelligences, which is just like virtual interfaces that have set responses to things. They don't think for themselves, so like AI has been outlawed. Because the Geth were the last AI, which is the thing we fought in the first game. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joe. In the first game you fight the Geth, which are like sentient the robots, basically. And they killed They're a the bunch of people, so that's orders. AI was outlawed. So the fact that this ship has an AI that they've made is very strange. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. I, I think I always thought when I played Mass Effect 2 originally that Jacob was a very boring character, but I kind of like him now. He's very he's a straight shooter. And you can appreciate that, because then you sort of contrast him with Miranda, who's like all lies and sneak all the time. But then you have Joshua who's just like, he's here because he likes the commander. You know, he believes in Shepard, and he's just, like, ready to follow orders, do whatever is required. And I can, again, like, I can respect that. Alright, but, this is about as good of a spot as any to end this episode. So, guys, we're going to leave this here. So, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, Make sure you share the video too with them, I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, you want to talk about the Mass Effect universe and how much you love it or hate it, and you want to have like a discussion, I would love to do that. Like, I can talk Mass Effect universe all day in Mass Effect games. Anything like that, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.